Hi there everyone, I'm Talha and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a dead snowball spreadsheet in Google Sheets. A dead snowball spreadsheet is one of the most useful and most recommended methods of tackling your debt and efficiently being able to repay your debt over time. So let's take a look at this spreadsheet right here. And I'm going to show you how to create it first and then how you can use it to clear your debt. Firstly, let's take a look at these upper headers. So I've added a header right here for accounts and below that I've added a header with two cells named financing home financing and then another named credit card and another named student loan and then one more named vehicle financing I've only added four different accounts but you can add as much as you need as per your requirements and it can be done as simply as going here merging these two cells and then adding a header right here. The reason I'm adding two different cells into one is because we need two cells below each account for the payment and balance sections. So let's take a look at these values right here. So the starting balance is going to be the balance at the starting time of this debt snowball spreadsheet and the starting date is going to be the same and the minimum monthly payment is going to be the minimum amount that you need to pay for each of these accounts and then these are going to be the interest rates and the extra amount per month will be the amount you're going to dedicate to each account apart from the minimum requirements so the method for this is to firstly start by dedicating this amount to the smallest debt first clearing that and then moving upwards from smallest to largest and the one-time startup payment will be the first payment that you are going to make when you start this debt snowball spreadsheet so this one-time startup payment will be added to the minimum monthly payment and the extra amount per month is also going to be added and so that is going to be the first payment you make for your smallest debt. Once you've created this table up here, you're going to move on to creating this table right here. Now this right here is the payment and balance section for each account so this means that on month one and date january 5 2019 a payment of so and so amount was made for home financing and then the total balance was this so let's start to add the amounts and use formulas to calculate our balance firstly let's add an amount here we're going to add the minimum amount which is 500 to the one-time startup payment and then we're going to add the extra amount as, as well so that amounts to a total of 1900 format this as currency and then let's calculate our balance for that we'll use an a minus formula to subtract 1900 from 15,000 once we've done that we're going to press enter and then let's hear up let's enter our monthly payment here in this case it is going to be 900 since 
500 plus the extra amount per month amounts to 900. And here we're going to use the formula equals minus again. Value 1 will be 900 and value 2 will be um, value 1 is going to be the balance right here and value 2 is going to be the payment made and that's done let's bring this formula down all the way up to the 12th month and then bring this down all the way up to the 12th month so as you can see as you go on about making payments for each month the amount is deducted from the total balance as well now as soon as you clear this payment which is going to be around the 16th month now for this month the total amount remaining is 500 so let's enter 500 here and bring the formula down and so the total amount remaining for the home financing account at the 16th month is zero meaning now the extra amount per month is going to be shifted towards paying the credit card debt up until now the total amount being paid for the credit card would be 250 let's demonstrate that so up until this point the total amount being paid for this account right here the credit card account would be 250 starting from this point onwards we're going to add 400 into 250 which will amount to 650 and moving forward all payments for this account would be 650 and that's what you're going to do for each of these accounts as you move forward let's use the formula again for demonstration and so that you can understand better For this now we're going to use a different formula because we don't want to subtract this from that all the time we want to subtract each payment from the previous balance so equals minus 15750 comma 250 so press enter and then we're going to bring the formula down all the way to the 16th month right here and moving forward 650 will be deducted from this account right here and let's just format this as a currency and done that's what you're going to be doing for all accounts that you have within your debt snowball and this method will help you greatly reduce your debt and it is definitely a very efficient method i hope this video was helpful to you please leave a like and subscribe